So, yes. what are we doing? They're all hanging out, having a uh, party. Mm -hmm. Clearly, because why wouldn't Gumby and Michelangelo and Voltron hang out together? Yeah, they all kind of just get yeah. Gumby's more familiar with Pokey, so I guess he's just sticking around with him. Oh, so they got their own little clique over yeah, in the yeah, corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Popeye's only here because yeah. he's having relationship problems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess I'll give it a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> hang out. Olive oil, such a tramp. <laughs> it's a yard party. Yeah. That's how we're starting now. Yeah. And then it'll just kind of get crazier from there. And then we're going to take the pictures on our laptop and put it together and show it at the end of the review. And it's going to be amazing. It's not going to be any paranormal, <laughs> though. Uh... Tonight. You did? Wow. Is that zombie bit really threw me? Oh no, I gotta sit in this chair again. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna break your furniture. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. This one's held together with super glue. <laughs> and, and look, if someone's gonna if someone's gonna break a chair and fall off it, you wanna you wanna capture it on film. <laughs> okay, so what we're doing this time, we're gonna talk about story first, and then we're gonna talk about general overall feeling of, of the film. Then we will give you a spoiler alert, talk more about the movie. And then after that, we're going to talk about the animation. Really hard to talk about a lot of the specifics of animation without giving away spoilers. And we're going to be animating a crappy stop motion thing on the way. Take the first picture right away. Got to, got to lean, okay. lean out of the way. And I'll, I'll take Bang. There's the first picture. Okay. Let's do another frame. Oh, so another frame. is putting his hand down. And picture taken. Okay, cool. The first act. I didn't like it so much. I was like, oh, please, please pick up. Because none of the jokes were working for me in the beginning. I noticed that a lot of jokes were kind of flat Ooh, and they, really bad in the beginning. They weren't getting the uh, no laughs. They did, and, and they did the pause to let the audience laugh, but then no. <laughs> that's awkward. Yeah. So there, I went to the the matinee showing. There was a woman, an older woman, I guess, that was kitty corner in front of us. She fell asleep in the first ten minutes of the film. Like <sighs> the kids were were talking and they weren't really getting into it. It took them a while. Once we got to the second act. Then the kids started paying attention because that's when we started getting into like the scary stuff. Let's move another thing that we've uh, talked okay. a little bit. Let's oh see. man, so he's playing air guitar, so I kind of forget which. Uh, okay, oh, like this. That oh. a little junk. No, kind of. How can I love you? <laughs> Let's jump into a book. Now we'll take a picture. I think I'm gonna have him lie on his side like this, like he's, like he's getting up on Pokey. Getting up on Pokey sounds really bad. Getting up on that Pokey. Okay, ready? Alright. There. Okay, we're good with that. You want, you want to take another one? Let's take another one. Sure. While we're doing it. Ready? Bang. This, this is the worst stop motion ever. <laughs> I think we talked about up to the second act. That's actually where I got into it. When you're in the second act, then the whole talking to dead people yeah. goes away a little bit. But it comes back pretty strong in the third act. The second act had that car chase scene. It was the first time you see the zombies. I was laughing in the second act. My favorite gag was the uh, the vending machine. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But then he comes back and he does this very strange kind of heavy payoff. I was laughing really hard at the beginning. It yeah. was the end of the joke. It was the follow through. Of the so joke. Like the end. And I didn't really like the follow. -through. I thought his arm was gonna get stuck. Yeah. And oh, that would have been hysterical. See, that would have been perfect. Yeah. His arm should have got stuck. And then he's terrified because the zombies are coming, but then they wind up passing him. Yes. And then he takes out the chips and it's just... Leica! Rob Ulfo, get him. Wrap I, him up. I know a lot of chip jokes. Yeah. Did can, you feel like this this movie got dark enough or they could have went a little I mean, they all, I mean, you can always go darker. Mm -hmm. I think it was just dark enough, but it is an animated film and there are some expectations that it's not going to be too scary. When you're a kid and there's like... You're afraid that there's a monster under your bed. You don't think there's a monster under your bed. You're afraid that there could be a monster under your bed. Yeah. Because I've seen scenarios where it's possible. <laughs> Believe it or not, I got scared in Raggedy Ann and Andy. <laughs> the animated movie. I think yeah. I think even Richard Williams I animated just, it. Yeah, where it's a long time ago. The gooey thing. You, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um is it Winnie the Pooh when he goes into the um uh, okay, I was never scared of Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move another one. Oh, oh also, uh, uh, Dumbo and the, the drunk sequence. Well, last time we talked about uh, Pinocchio, uh, where all the kids turn into donkeys. When they turn into donkeys. So it's weird. It, it's uh, how things could, like, uh, what things kind of terrify you. I actually think they could have cut out some of that high school stuff, because the school stuff never came back. Yeah. They, it was just used to show that Norman was like an outcast, but they could have done that in a better way, I thought. But, you know, 
It's kind of nitpicking, to be honest. You want to do another frame? Let's do another frame. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing this. I better read. <laughs> All, right. All right. His room is kind of a good definition of how I look at that movie. His room was filled with zombie stuff and posters, and all, and his life was was a zombie alarm clock. All that novelty. I think that's kind of how I like the movie. You know, especially yeah. the second act. It's just a fun thing. You know what? Tone felt like Monster House. Did you ever see Monster oh, yeah. House? Yeah, yeah. This one was much more beautiful to look yeah. at. What made this one different from any other stop motion film that's uh, been out so far? Well, like I know they, they kind of pioneered some stuff. That... They used that 3D printing, mm -hmm. um, which uh, companies had used to make prototypes for things. Yeah. And you know what I'm talking about. Oh, actually, they had that in. Um, Oh my god, Jurassic Park! They actually print out the bones this in this little third one? That machine that they use, just like a regular printer, except it's doing it in 3D. It's putting down layer upon layer upon layer until it builds this thing. That's how they, they did um, the faces. I think they could actually print in color, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And then they would oh, you know, plot that cool? out, which gave them like 1.5 million had, like, expressions. Little birthmarks on their, like, their yeah. and stuff. Yeah, the texture was great. The blushing. The blushing was fantastic, even on the hands. Yeah. You know, they had like red, red, uh, red towards the end of the fingers. Yeah, and yeah. I think they were the first uh, stop motion uh, to do, uh, to use like smears, like in between smears. That's right, that's right, I saw that post. Yeah. yeah. I didn't notice I didn't notice him either. I didn't notice him either. I was looking for him. There he goes. <laughs> I think stop motion really fits. I mean, zombies in stop motion, the shambling was amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Want to do another frame? Yes. Let's do another frame. Um. One, two, three. Okay. All right. So we're gonna get into spoilers now. So if you don't want to um, be spoiled or anything, <laughs> I like it. It's good. I, I would recommend that you go see it in the theater on uh, just a, a, a regular night. Even though we went to go see it matinees with a bunch of kids. In. So now, spoilers. The ending. A uh, couple things I want to say about the ending. Um, number one, for a while there, you kind of got the feeling that. Especially when the zombies were coming out. I mean, they're Puritans, right? So they start to see like sex and violence and sex and violence and drugs and gambling everywhere. Yeah. So the zombie is now scared of this new world. And I thought, oh, please don't tell me that we should be more like the Puritans. I thought that that's the way they were going in the movie. I thought they were going to say, no, the Puritans were misunderstood and there really were witches back in Salem. And then when it turned out that, that the witch was actually a little girl, it became pretty clear that Okay, so we're not scared of them because they're zombies. We're scared of who they were, and we're scared of the fact that it clearly is able to be repeated now. Uh, let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's move to another one. Okay. <laughs> okay, ready? Boom. Norman's sister talks to Norman's friend's brother, who they she's been hitting on, says something like, maybe we can get together and watch a movie. And he goes, oh, that'd be great. You know, you really like my boyfriend. He's a real chick flick magnet or something. In my theater, everyone went, oh, 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 It was like a really kind of weird, uncomfortable laughter where I don't think it was because they were bothered by it. I think it was because it was unexpected. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean? I was surprised too. I, I just, just didn't see it coming. The little payoff joke, whatever. It's not. <laughs> well, obviously. <laughs> too much for the rocker dude. He's a very conservative rocker. He's like Ted Nugent. And he embodied that mes message mm -hmm. of, you know, Norman, be who you are. You know, no matter who you are, you're, you're a person and you're just as valid as anybody else. Let's do another one. Let's do another, another thing. All right, now we get to talk about animation. Um, since we're completely destroying the stop-motion style <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> um, this was amazing. Paranorman was phenomenal. I was going to say fantastic and then I was going to swear, but it was great. <laughs> Secondary motion was a little overdone in parts, I thought. The uncle was moving around and he was like doing stuff and he was like scratching all over the place. I thought, this is probably really great animation, but I can't see any of it. There's too much stuff going on. Do I look crazy to you? The special effects, holy crap. Special effects on the witch. I could not figure out how they would have done that in stop motion. It must be in CG. Yeah. 
Must be. You know what? I didn't like uh, the ghost. Just the, the Which green. One? Like you know. Oh yeah, the effect. Yeah, I didn't like that effect. Yeah, I yeah. feel like they should have just had him kind of. Uh, Translucent? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Scream was a bit much, but it was a stylized choice. You know, it's like the noses. You know, all the noses were cockeyed. Yeah. Oh, this is the other thing that I didn't mention. Norman's eyes were octagons. Norman's uh, irises, the colored part of the eyes. But everybody else's irises were perfectly round. I mean, it must be a choice, right? I guess it's just kind of separating from like. Yeah. It's yeah, kind of like uh, all the robots on Futurama have square pupils. Yeah. Maybe they did something just a little subtly different because he's the one that can see dead people. So his eyes are different. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't look at the uncle. Because he was moving around so much I couldn't see him. I'll talk about the credits. The animation in the credits. Oh, yeah. That was okay, so I stayed to the end. They showed that behind the scenes making of where they had the wireframe. Oh, and everything was being animated on, and, as it was. Yeah, yeah, and then he stands up and he walks around. The credits themselves, it was really great, like, painterly animation. At first I thought, this is 2D animation. But then it was pretty clear that it was rotoscope. Then I got towards the end of the credits and I noticed that there was a... I wrote it down. There was a CG department. Uh, there was modelers, etc. Uh, there were 2D leads. And there was a 2D effects department as well as painted rotoscope. That must have been the credits. So there were two points in the movie where, the, where there was a girl that was behind me that was saying, I'm, I'm scared. One was when Norman went to his uncle's cabin. The other one was at the end with the witch. Both times she was scared. At the end I turned around and she had a security blanket pulled up around her face and around her ears like this. One thing that people are going to ask is, is it you know, safe for kids? She was very clearly like five years old. After that, after that point, she said... I really like that movie. Can we get it? Yeah. I think this is a really good movie to take kids to. Know that they're going to be scared a little bit, but there's nothing scary in the beginning. There's a little bit of scary stuff in the middle, but it's really crazy and a lot of fun, so they kind of work their way into it. And then it gets scary at the end. Yeah. By then they're invested and they want to see what happens. Think they that's... get scared, but they enjoy to be scared. Right. Well, I, I think they enjoy to be scared as long as the end result is okay. I think that's it. I think that's everything I have to say about Paranorman. Um, yeah. Let's angle to the camera now and talk talk to the nice people at home. <laughs> so to sum up, um, uh, <laughs> you always leave it to me to sum up. Uh, I'll, I can sum it up. Okay. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. I don't think they could decide how they wanted to market it. I think they marketed it more towards Came the animation out. aspect of it. Yeah, but coming out in August. It's a weird time for this movie. It should have been October. Should have been October. And when is uh, Frank and Weenie? Right. Like they, they must be cringing. They must be like, oh man, we gotta like follow I, this. I would First be black really white, surprised. I don't think a lot of kids are gonna want to see black and white. No. So yeah, I don't want to say great. like, you know, Frank and Winky, Frank and Winky. <laughs> 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 Frank and Winky. <laughs> what I'm hoping for this movie is that they're gonna show it on TV for Halloween and it becomes a classic. Because I think it only becomes a classic if they start showing it. We're, we're living in an age where things just. They want to see it now, once it's yeah. done, it's over. Yeah. That's why a lot of times I feel kind of like, why am I doing animations? Because it's like, we're going to watch it once and that's it. And that's it. They'll subscribe and then throw out their computers apparently. Before it's like, that movie was great, I can't wait till it comes out on VHS. Right, right, right. You know? Yeah. They're definitely not going to demand like a sequel for it. I loved it. I thought it was a lot of fun. I'm, I'm probably going to buy it, yeah. uh, but I'm going to buy it because I want to see all the behind the scenes and I am 100% positive there's going to be some great behind the scenes yeah. stuff on that Blu-ray. It's going to be, and it's a beautiful film. Beautiful. The animation is amazing. If you care at all about animation, you, you've got to see it. I Definitely actually, I think it's more inspiring as an animator than when I watch Brave. Yeah, if you're a big stop motion fan, um, your, your jaw is going to drop looking at it. Um, my review is, I cannot wait to see what Leica does next. That's probably the best thing I can do. So in conclusion, you you would say that you like a, it. There's nothing wrong with being scared, Norman. As long as you don't let it change who you are. Paranorman. That thing went through like... 25 rotations before I actually finished editing the video and realized that we didn't actually say anything about the short that we did. And I grew a cool beard. It's fuzzy. You have anything to say about the short? I would sure say better than any stop motion picture ever made. Ever. Ever. So watch it and stuff. Yeah. Pookie, you knocked me over. Oh.
Oh. <laughs> 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 